Hey everybody, <laughs> this is going to be another Monday Movie Review. This one is about <laughs> the 2020 movie Run, Hide, Fight, which, Jesus fucking Christ, um, watching a review does not do it fucking justice of how batshit and awful the movie is, like... Like, the first thing is the fucking hero of the movie. Like, this movie demonizes mental illness, except for when it's the main fucking <laughs> main character. <laughs> because the main character throughout the movie is seeing her dead mother who died of cancer and having conversations. Two of the gunmen who are under Shitty Joker, uh, school shooter, both of them have mental illnesses, both of them die, and both of them are villainized. Fucking, like, they are, the two mentally ill people were obviously roped into being a part of uh, the, the school shooting plot. Um, and like... Fucking... The big, like, the tall, muscular dude... Or not muscular, but like, big, stocky dude who has an MP40 has some so, some kind of mental illness that where he's he's like seeing things and talking about like the pattern and all this other shit and like it's kind of understandable that the main character tr like leans into his mental illness to try and not get shot by him but then her dad blows his fucking brains out Um, and then the second dude, uh, she, like, knocks out, or whatever, like, she, he's chasing her, there's a slip and slide that was set up by a student, he careens, gets fucked up, gets sprayed with a fire extinguisher by the main character, and then being in the head with the fucking things, and then she handcuffs him. And she's having a conversation with the fucking, with her hallucinatory mother. And he says, oh, you hear voices too. Because, like, she's obviously talking out loud. And then the guy basically is like, you know, I was, you know, they basically pantsed me and, like, just showed everybody my dick. And people would laugh and this guy obviously, like was getting bullied and nobody tried to help or, you know, he couldn't, he, he couldn't take anything at face value, you know, because of the trauma. And then the main character manipulates that dude, uh, later on in the movie saying like, you know, do people basically he's like, if you don't do anything, like, to help or whatever, fucking, uh, you know, people will just remember, you know, when people made fun of your dick. So she un, un handcuffs him, like, takes him out of the handcuffs, gives him the gun, and I, I made a thing of, like, he's gonna put the gun in his mouth and blow, fucking blow his brains out. Because that's what it kind of looked like it was gonna happen. What was gonna happen? Uh, but then, so she, so Joker dude is trying to, she, he's trying to make the main character come out by killing hostages. And mind you, this guy has a fucking revolver. It's not a semi-auto. It's a fucking revolver. And he's like got 
No, he basically has like the big goon who's still alive when this happens. But like the dude, the the sm the smaller big dude comes in with a shotgun, like pointed, and then fucking bigger dude shoots smaller big dude, who then shoots Joker guy in the shoulder. Um. And like he died, like the smaller, like the smaller big dude dies because of that. And she, she manipulated, like, there's so many fucking. And this is something I noticed and I brought up to the group because we watch, we watch this in the Discord where we watch a lot of stuff that I review. Uh, there's a scene where. Like, they, uh, main, main girl and her black boyfriend event, like, implied boyfriend, or, like, future boyfriend, they run away, and she basically, call, like, talks to Joker guy, and it's, it's, it's literally the fucking exchange that happens between Terry McGinnis and the Joker in... Return of the Joker, where it, Terry is like, breaks off the control for the door, so he can't, so, because there's a beam coming towards, the, like a laser beam that's coming towards, that's going to kill basically Terry and the Joker. He breaks off the door control so he can't escape. And then he goes up into the rafters and just starts like taunting and starts laughing at the Joker. And it's basically the conversation, more or less, that happens in the fucking movie. And even, like, the main girl fucking starts laughing, like, t like t Terry does in an exchange. And you may be noticing I've been calling the antagonist, like, the, the ringleader um, of the school shooting Joker guy. Because he's literally trying to do um, Heath Ledger's Joker and doing it poorly. And now that I think about it more, fucking. It, basically, it, the, the crew is basically Joker, Harley, and two fucking. two Joker henchmen who are doing this. And, like, the movie starts as it ends with, like, main girl shooting a deer in the, not quite the heart. And, like, bashing the fucking deer's head in to, like, kill it quickly. And that same thing happens with the Joker dude, where she stalks him and fucking shoots him in the chest. And then doesn't smash his head, but she says the same... She says the thing her dad said, who's played by Thomas Jane. Yeah, Thomas Jane is in this. Barbara Cramden's in this fucking shit show. Fucking... They're like... There are too many good actors in this movie. Fucking... And, like... God damn, this movie is fucking terrible. Just all of the, like, the Joker shit, all of this, like, everybody at, like, people not realizing gunshots are going off, because Senior Prank Day, fucking, it's just, uh, Like, fuck, it's even more Joker-like, because, like, the Joker guy t basically takes one of the hostages, trades clothes, like, forcibly trades clothes, clothes with him, basically puts him next to a fucking bomb, and his, his that was why he was able to leave the school, because he was dressed up like another kid, and instead of, instead of, like, the main girl going, hey... 
that's the guy who fucking shot up the school. Like, she gets her dad's rifle and fucking... Which, it must have just been, like, left out. Like, the police didn't fucking pick it up, apparently, for some weird fucking reason. Then she shot the fucking main guy. And, like... It, it's it's just such a pile of shit <laughs> like the whole like tr- justifying killing mentally ill children who were roped into a school shooting instead of getting them fucking help and trying to de-escalate the situation uh, so yeah Talk to everybody. Have a wonderful fucking day. Watch this movie with friends. Don't watch it alone because you'll probably want to rip your fucking hair out. Ta ta.